The Portland Port City of Oporto, representing here different identities and values and cultures, a rivalry between the two big cities of the nation. No surprise then that feelings run high when they meet over a football match. Red on blue and white, eagle on dragon. It doesn't take too much imagination to understand how big this is, fueled by so many factors both on and off the field. It is one of those games in Portuguese cultural and sporting society. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. This is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football, Peter, and a picture-perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention. And it's likely to have quite a big... Gets up to hit it! Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. to the left and the finish Pepe keeper sends it forward well positioned to make that interception just to point out Peter that the full backs are quite high what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Pepe. Played out to the right. Benfica. Very much the team that started on the front foot. Yeah. And a header! Goal! Porto! And Porto go in front! Porto are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Porto have made their breakthrough, so can they build on it? Yeah, although that first goal is a welcome boost, they can't afford to ease off now. To do that would simply be inviting danger. A great ball! Danger averted for now. Benfica get it back again. And now the breakaway. Looks to think run in. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Now it's Rafa Silva. Pixie out to the right. Going through. Can he find a finish now? There's the cross. Lovely feet. Has a pop! It's off target and by quite a way. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong make them right. Forward it goes. Now it's Tarat. Gets away from his opponent. Brushed off the ball there. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. The crowd appreciates good football all round there. Tarat. 
Mbemba. Benfica in need of a lift as we head up towards the break. Looking for space out wide. And he's there to cut it out. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Tarapt. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. <laughs> and the action is back on the way. I think they've got to go out at the start of this second half now and set a tone that smacks of intent and determination. Should they manage it, I think they can find a way back. Rafa Silva drives it forward. Look at the goal! It's gone a long way up and away. And he's there to hoof it away. Mbemba. Pepe. Hoists it forward. it out to the wing. Goes for goal! And yes, it's there! Two up now, and they are cruising. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. So that's two now without reply. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. There are a few waiting for it. Dangerous position. Did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. And it's played forward. Hoists it forward. Porto have just about everyone back and central. Yeah, clearly they're trying to show strength to what the opposition have seen as a weakness. It's a safety first approach. Shapes to shoot! And somehow he managed to miss it. Oh, it's so very disappointing, but they can't dwell on it. They've got to go again. Simple as. Porto are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Mbemba goes looking. And he has been fouled there. He's gone for it! Big relief, it just needed better contact. 
The defence did very well to be able to close him down in numbers like that. They basically suffocated his hopes. Monte Almeida. Good ball. Goalkeeper's ball. Tarat. Rafa Silva. Referee's given a throw. Forward it goes. Plays it out to the flank. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. He gets going for goal! A real chance and a real let-off. Two minutes to be added on. Good challenge, he just stood firm. So that's it, it is all over. Benfica often puffed, but in the end, no joy. That's the game, the result is what matters, and this result is cruel. Well, how will we look back on that? Yeah, and we know that derbies can often make predictions look silly. They can take on a... a